Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So in this video here, I'm going to be showing you how to record gameplay with OBS. So uh, OBS, or Open Broadcast Software, is a free uh, piece of software majorly you know the majority of the time it's used for streaming but in this video I'm going to show you how to record your gameplay very high quality uh, with OBS so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and open up OBS okay uh, so once you have it downloaded open up OBS and then you're going to see a few different things what I want you to do is create a new scene so right click over here and go to add a scene uh, you can uh, title this scene whatever you want to title it I'm going to go ahead and title mine uh, recording final and then I'm going to click OK. Now once I've done that I want to select that specific scene and then I want to go to settings which is right here in the lower right hand box there. So under settings you're going to see a few different things. Under general you're going to see like general things like language profiles things like that. Uh, don't worry about the setting profile until later. Don't worry about that right now. Uh, the first thing I want you to go to is encoding right there under general. So under encoding, you're going to see a few different options here. Uh, the encoder, leave that uh, at times 264. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff over here. Uh, the use CBR box needs to be unchecked. I guess you could check it, uh, but that means like constant bit rate, and that's normally used for streaming uh, as opposed to uh, video recording itself. So you can check it if you want it, but I normally leave that unchecked. Uh, quality balance, basically a simplistic explanation of this is the higher the number, the higher quality the video. The lower the number, the lower quality the video. So uh, if you want a better video quality, go ahead and go all the way up to 10. But remember, uh, this is all based on what your computer can handle. So if you have a machine that cannot handle a lot of heavy lifting, I would definitely go towards seven or eight. But I'm gonna go ahead and choose 10 uh, because I know it can handle it. Uh, the max bit rate, now this you're going to see a, a whole range of numbers on the internet if you're looking at tutorials on how to do this. I have settled on 3,500. Uh, I've gone as high as 8,000 or even 10,000 uh, when recording uh, videos as opposed to streaming. Now, when you're streaming, you're definitely going to want to keep that around 2,200 to 4,200 depending on your machine again. But I leave this at 3,500. It's a pretty good uh, sweet median there to leave it on. So you can choose to do whatever you want to do there. Uh, under audio in coding. Uh, the codec I leave at uh, AAC. It's just better in my opinion. Uh, the format I leave at 48. Uh, the bit rate I have changed it down to 128. Yours may be set on 80 or 96. Uh, go to 128. It just makes it sound better. Um, stereo obviously because you want them to be able to hear it out of both ears. Uh, so make sure all of that is uh, the way it is here and then go to apply in the lower box there. And then once you've applied your settings, go on over to broadcast settings. Now you may be thinking, why are we in broadcast settings? We're recording a video. Uh, so what you need to do is change the mode from live stream to file output only, okay? Uh, the first thing you're going to see is the file path. This is going to be where the video is saved as. So if you go to browse and then select a folder on your computer and then choose a file name. So you can choose a file name like OBS video, whatever you wanna do, and then hit save. So it'll now save as OBS video on that specific folder that you you've designated it to save as. Uh, under the buffer length and buffer file path, do not mess with any of that. There's no need to do anything there. And then go to apply. Make sure you're applying all of these changes as we go. Uh, under video, uh, the video adapter is going to be your graphics card for the most part. You may have multiple ones in here if you have multiple graphics cards. Uh, under base resolution, um, I always um, choose 1920 by 1080 because I want 1080p, uh, which is the highest quality uh, that you can upload to YouTube. Well, you can do 4K, but in this case, we want it to be 1080, so 1920 by 1080, or you might want it to be 720 if your video card or processors or whatever on your machine can't handle it, but I would recommend going 1080 if you can. Uh, it's the best thing to do. Uh, resolution downscale. Now, if your internet speed is not that great, uh, you may want to downscale it to 720. Basically, this is making your file sizes of your videos smaller. So if you go down and decrease this to say 1.75 or 1.5, the file size of these videos are going to be much, much smaller uh, than if you're doing like 1080 like I'm doing here. Under FPS, uh, it's set at 60. I leave mine at 60. You can decrease this if you want, uh, but if games provide the nice 60 frames per second, uh, 
video that we all love, uh, then you can leave it at 60. Uh, again, if your computer can't handle it, you can decrease that if need be. Uh, so go ahead and apply those settings. Now go to audio. Under audio, you're going to see a few different things. You're going to see the desktop audio device. This is going to be where you want the audio to come from. So default's going to be like your, your just normal internal sound of your computer, uh, which is where you can leave it on. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, the microphone's going to be whatever microphone you have hooked up. Uh, I'm recording audio separate for this tutorial on my Mac Pro. Uh, so you're not going to see my microphone here, but normally you would see my Scarlett 2 i2, uh, which is my audio interface. So whatever microphone you have plugged in is what you're going to want to use. Uh, you can use the HD Pro webcam or whatever webcam that you may have uh, connected there. So uh, if that's something you want to do, you can choose to uh, select your webcam there. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff down below here. None of that really means anything to us here. And then go to apply. The next thing you're going to see is like hotkeys, advanced, all of that good stuff. Don't worry about any of that. Uh, just click OK and get out of the settings. Now, once we're done with all of that, what I want you to do now is to understand a couple things. The audio uh, input would be your microphone and the internal audio for the game. Uh, what you'll do is you can increase that here uh, by going and upping this here on this slider uh, if you want the game audio to be increased or decreased when recording. And then you can do the same for the microphone over here on the left. Now, once we have done all of that, what we're going to want to do is add a few sources. Now, the sources are going to be what's actually being recorded. For the purpose of my gameplay, I normally do like a monitor capture uh, and just call that gameplay if you want to do that, and then go ahead and click OK. Now, under this, you just want it to capture whatever monitor you want to be recording. If you have multiple monitors, you'll want to select which one you want to record up here, and then click OK. Now, this is going to basically, when I go to preview, it's going to record what I am doing here. So everything on the monitor is going to record so you can see that under preview now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add my webcam now that's going to be under my global sources if you have not set up a global source for your webcam you will need to do that so it'll either be under global source or under video capture device so mine's under global source and then go to webcam uh, so we'll go ahead and add that now now what we're going to want to do is edit this. So what we're going to want to do uh, is select whichever one we want to edit as far as that goes, and then we'll we want to edit it. So go ahead and go to preview, uh, and then now you can see there's the webcam. I'm going to edit that scene, and I'm going to change my webcam down to be a lot smaller, obviously. So you, you want to get it set up in your preview exactly how you want it to be when you're recording your gameplay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, get out of the preview just like that, and now we're ready to go. So once you have your webcam, once you have your gameplay now you can do more stuff like add text uh, you can add borders around your webcam you can do other stuff that you know amp up the quality of the video as far as the finished product goes but once we're ready to go all we have to do now is once we have our microphone hooked up our audio set the way we want it to go we'll go to start recording so instead of start streaming we want to go to start recording so go ahead and go to start recording and then you'll see here, it's going to go ahead and start recording the monitor there. I'm going to go ahead and go on over to um, Rocket League, which is a game that I have pulled up here in the background. Uh, and then you'll be able to hear the audio, obviously, of that game as well. And then as you can see here, we'll just click a few buttons here. We'll go to options. We'll see a few different things come up. We'll go back. Uh, go to the garage here and you'll be able to see this in the video so now I want to go back to OBS just like this and then go to stop recording now what you can do now to test and make sure that it worked the way you want it to work is I'm going to go ahead and close out of Rocket League now if you can see right over here on my desktop is a video called OBS video. Now if I play that video you're going to see the playback exactly what I recorded when I was showing you guys. You're going to see me down there with my webcam, you're going to see uh, me click on a few things as well as the sound of that video. So that's just a base tutorial on how to use OBS or open broadcasting software, broadcaster software to record gameplay. Now it is a free piece of software, uh, so be gentle with it. Uh, I'll put the download links below for you to go and download it. I also have more OBS tutorials. I'll have links for those down below as well. Uh, and as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.